Well, this gets back to what we discussed earlier. Did you sign a personal guarantee? And it also depends on the kind of business we're talking about. For example, if you have a business that's a corporation, that corporation is a separate person. It has its own assets, its own liabilities, its own income, its own debts uh, and expenses. So as long as that person is a truly separate person and you maintain the corporate niceties of um, not commingling funds, not commingling assets, the business was adequately capitalized at its inception, um, and you've kept uh, meet, uh, minutes at the regular meetings of the board of directors, you've maintained that separate personhood. And with that separate personhood comes separate liability. Now, if you only signed whatever uh, liability documents the business had in the person of you as the president of the company, then you have no personal liability. The business has its own liability and it's not yours. But if you signed personal guarantees, well, then you will have personal liability at the completion of the business chapter seven if the creditors didn't get paid in full. Now, Let's say, on the other hand, the business is not a corporation, it's a partnership. Well, the partners have personal liability. And so if the business uh, gets liquidated or is liquidated, a trustee pays creditors as much as possible, and there are still outstanding debts, well, you can be quite sure that those creditors that didn't get paid in full are going to go after the partners to collect on any personal liability they have because the partnership is not a separate person. Unlike a corporation or an LLC, a partnership is really the partners as a group. So it really does depend on the type of business and whether or not personal guarantees were signed.